Hi everyone and welcome back to the vlog. So if you have noticed that I haven't posted in a while, that's because my family has been in town. So um, I actually started a new channel with my sister for when we are traveling together since so she was spending most of her time just by herself with me. Um, so I'll link that channel in the description below so you guys can go check that out. But today I am presenting at a local primary school. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the United States and the culture of the United States um, to seventh graders and ninth graders. And then tomorrow I actually leave for Belgium. So lots of busy things going on this week. Hopefully it's all fun and exciting for you all to view. We're back in the city now. I have finished my presentations. I think the kids really enjoyed it. They, I got a lot of questions about the US and what it's like to live there and whether or not I liked Sylvania better. Um, and they were so kind and gave me these wonderful flowers, the national flowers of Slovenia. And now I am getting ready for my Belgium trip. got to Brussels. I'm trying to figure out the public transportation system right now so that I get to where I need to go. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Made it on the train. So now we just have two stops. The first one and then the second one, which is the one that we're getting off at. And then a 22 minute walk to the hotel. And then hopefully I can check in so I can drop my stuff off in my room and then go exploring. officially arrived in Brussels, Belgium, and checked into the hotel okay. They have early check-in here, so now I am out and about on the town. My plan is to go and sightsee all of the things that I wanted to see. That way, on Saturday, I can kind of sleep in, take it more of a rest day, um, and then I'll be back by five today for our welcome reception.
half into my walk all over the city and my back is killing me. I'm ready, ready to get back to the hotel, but I still have like another hour and a half to go and then we'll be gone. Come back. It is the first day of the conference officially. I am on my way to breakfast and then I have a long day of seminars and panels and breakout sessions before we go to the US ambassador to Belgium's house tonight for dinner. Uh, so I will give you an update later tonight and see you then. seminar um, we finished up at the ambassador's house last night and then I tried to tough it out and go out to a bar with a bunch of the other participants but unfortunately my feet were very tired and I was very tired so I ended up just coming back last night but I'm hoping to go out tonight um, we're not fed dinner tonight so maybe do some exploring and find some good fruits um, yeah So I didn't get to film any more um, between my last update, but I have finished the seminar. I am going to see the last thing on my bucket list before I leave Belgium this afternoon. Um, and just to recap the seminar, uh, it was on the security implications of climate change. So more so focused on how climate change may impact military and um, local security and stuff like that. And obviously I'm a neuroscience person, so I did not have a background in, in the subject, but I was able to learn a lot, met a lot of different people who are really working towards um, implementing new strategies to work towards the goal of creating a more secure future for all of us and it was it was a fun time i have been to several conferences as people might know from my november escapade to spain um but this is the first one where everybody 
was genuinely like there for the same reasons. Everybody wanted to get to know each other, form collaborative networks, and stuff like that. Um, so it was fun. I'm glad that I had the opportunity to come. And now I get to venture out into the freezing cold of Belgium on Wednesday. It was much, much nicer. Um, on Wednesday, it was actually 60 degrees. Now it is 40, windy, cold, which is what I have to look forward to back in Lugliana anyways. So, uh, but yeah, I am going to see the, the main park with the famous arches and then might try and venture to find some french fries. I might not. We'll see how cold I get. So this is one for the climate change topic. Currently just hailed out of nowhere. Wasn't supposed to do that today, but I always get caught in the worst weather. I should have just gone and gotten french fries on Wednesday, but I didn't. Instead, I did all of my sightseeing except for the park um, on Wednesday. And then I went back and rested because I had to get up so early on Wednesday. But now it's raining and it's hailing and it's a 30 minute walk to get french fries. So I'm very tempted to just get french fries at the airport. Obviously they're not gonna be that great, but I don't know that I wanna have to walk a one hour round trip to go get some french fries because I'm also not that hungry yet. So we shall see. I, if you see a picture of french fries, that means I got them. If you don't see a picture of french fries, that means that I did not. But I will say, I didn't get a picture of it, unfortunately. But I did get to have the sweet Belgian waffles. So, so good. I think I'm spoiled. I don't think I ever want to have a waffle again. They were caramelized sugar encrusted. It's like how they're made. So, so good. Um, and unfortunately, I did not get a picture of them, which I should have, because I'm sure you all would have liked to see it, but, ugh. Yeah, so, that's how today is going. everyone we are back in Slovenia and I wasn't planning to make another short video but I'm walking home from the train station and it looks like a tornado went off all of the siding is torn down laying in the middle of the street and I had to fly through a lightning storm so that's been fun um, but I also wanted to say something very ironic happened. So I was supposed to be sitting in the back of the plane on my second flight to actually get to Slovenia. And for some reason they decided to move me up, which is nice and fine. Appreciate it. Um, and I happened to end up sitting next to someone who is from the UK and is currently in, or currently coming to Slovenia for a climate change summit. So it's kind of like a full circle moment. And I thought I would share because the irony of running into somebody working on the same topic that I just left was very funny. Um, and so now I'm going to go home and get out of the rain and the cold. <laughs> <laughs> 